Hello, this is Jeremiah with Dubs and Bikes, the channel that's dedicated to classic Volkswagens and vintage collectible bicycles. You may know Dubs and Bikes from our Facebook group, and if not, I'll post a link in the description. I'd love to have you guys come check us out. Now, I don't usually make video content, but today is special. We have a sponsor. So today's sponsor is Shining 3D. They are the makers of high-end 3D scanners and have recently come out with a new 3D scanner for the hobbyist. Um, it's much lower price point than their typical fare, and I'm really interested in seeing what this thing can do. And they've sent me one, so we're going to check it out. Um, but I, I hear what you're saying. You're like, Jeremiah. What's the deal, man? I thought this channel was going to be about Volkswagens or old bicycles. Um, and we're going to we're going to stay on point. OK, so, you know, hey, we're going to we're going to scan my bug. All right. Keep it interesting. Well, actually, not that bug. Uh, we're going to scan this bug. Uh, this is a little Volkswagen uh, that I got from Peru uh, a few years ago. And we're going to just put it in the computer and see what can be done with it. Um, very interested in seeing the technology and learning as we go. So uh, thank you for joining us. And first, let's open it up and see what is in the box. All right, guys, here we have the Einstar 3D scanner, new in the box. It comes with this power cable, as well as this microfiber cleaning cloth. Here we go, the Shining 3D Einstar Scanner. The case feels sturdy and densely packed. It has a good weight to it. I like the rubber handle and the quality of the zipper. Inside is a USB cable that attaches the scanner to the computer, as well as the other part of the power cable. And here's the Einstar Scanner itself. It has a pretty snug fit to the case. Made by Shining 3D, you can see the lights and the cameras on the front. It has a Lemo locking cable, which is great, and a sign of high quality, and a fan up here at the top. It feels like a professional object, for sure. Three little buttons here are the only controls on the device. It's nice. Here we have a quick start guide, as well as some tracking markers. There we go. Now they actually give you quite a lot of these. And luckily a little baggie to put them in. And we'll open up this sneaky little compartment here. Get more goodies. Here's the carrying case strap. And this is the calibration board. You'll see more markers on there. Oh, but we may need one more thing. We're back from the kitchen, staying stuff out of the kitchen as usual. This time, it's for a turntable. Some people pay good money for a turntable. This is going to work just fine for what we need. Here we go with our first scan. The plate was really glossy, so I put a piece of paper down, as well as some markers to help with the scan. The scanner doesn't like glossy objects or dark, like black objects. Um, the software looks pretty easy, but there's a lot to it. So if you're lost, then YouTube is your buddy, uh, or the quick start guide, or there's helpful videos on their website. On the left, you could see an onboard camera from the object, and in the center is a real-time representation of what's being scanned, as well as the quality level. Uh, here's the second scan that I did. I flipped the object upside down to get hard to reach areas. You could scan um, as many times as you want um, and save a bunch of scans and align it all together. 
Um, in this view, it doesn't look like it's doing much. Um, it looks kind of lumpy and bumpy, but it's actually it's actually getting in there and capturing a lot of information. So when you're done, you stop it and you generate some point clouds. Now this is going to show you basically what it's captured. So you can see that it didn't capture the dark areas really well with the tires. Um, and I am going to mesh this model. So it's a point cloud now, but it needs to be a mesh. So I mesh this. This actually takes a little while. Um, but then in here, you could clean up the unwanted parts of the mesh, or you could clean up the point cloud in the previous mode, but um, I'm just doing it here. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just deleting all these polygons here. And I am getting it ready. So I could do um, an alignment. So here I have the two scans that I did, the top and the bottom scan. And I'm just going to do a manual alignment and see the, how that turns out. It's actually a pretty quick process. And there we go. The two are combined. Um, so I just clean it up. Um, and there you go. Time to export it and finish the process. Well, that was fun. It was a lot of work. Um, what I ended up doing was I took our model and I put that into the Unreal Engine. And I made a simple driving game. Um, nothing to write home about, but it's I like it. I think it's fun. Um, 
I want to thank Shining 3D for making it all possible, being our sponsor. I really enjoyed scanning stuff. I look forward to scanning just everything. So if you have anything I should scan in comments about that or any technical comments, um, I look forward to answering those. So um, yeah, let's let's check out the game. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll catch you next time here at Dubs and Bikes. Thank you.